you have a can of chickpeas, then you are going to love this recipe. It is very easy and anyone can make it. Hey everyone, Namushka and welcome to Curries with Bumbi. And today it is all about making delicious chickpea kebabs. Okay, the scene starts with a usual drill that is making the spice powder. Pan on medium low heat and in goes all the whole spices. Coriander seeds, cumin seeds and black peppercorns. Toast them on medium low heat till they turn fragrant and become a shade darker in color. After that, take them off heat and grind them in a mortar and pestle or a spice grinder. We need a fairly coarse grind like this. Now coming to the chickpeas, I have used a can of chickpeas but you can even use dried beans and cook them in your pressure cooker. Please check out the description box for more details. I discarded all the water that came in the can and allowed the beans to sit in a colander for a while so that the excess water drips off. Mash the chickpeas with a fork or a potato masher. You can even use a food processor but I feel that makes a paste out of the beans. I like my beans to still have that little bit of chickpea character to them and since they are already cooked it doesn't take that much of a muscle power to mash them manually. Ok my chickpeas are now all set to receive the other ingredients. Here I have boiled potatoes that I have peeled and grated through the large holes of my box grater. Please allow the potatoes to cool down completely after cooking before using in the recipe. Then the carrots dive in with all their orangey gorgeousness. Finely chopped onions, coriander leaves for that freshness. You can use any greens according to your preference. Next comes cornstarch to bring everything together. The toasted and crushed spice powder, red pepper flakes. Then whenever it comes to any kebab, I just love using chaat masala. You may leave it out but it brings in such a wonderful flavor that I absolutely love adding it. Then salt. Please keep this in mind that chaat masala already has added salt in it. So add less salt to start with. Finally a few drops of lemon juice to add up to that freshness. Now it's time to get your hands dirty. And I don't like wearing gloves for doing all this. I like touching the food to get a feel of it. And I'm sorry if you mind but I just cannot change this habit of mine. Ok everything looks well mixed. Do a taste test at this point and you may add more salt now if required. Ok time to make the patty or the kebabs. Apply some oil in your palms and that will help you in forming the patty. Here I would like to say that though I use spices and seasonings according to my liking, it doesn't have to be the exact same when you follow the recipe. I can only give you ideas and a recipe is just a guide. Use any seasonings that you like and put your own twist into it. After all it's your kitchen and you are the boss of your kebabs. Ok I'm done forming all the kebabs so it's frying time now. Here I have 2 tablespoons of oil in my hot pan. In it I added about 2 tablespoons of butter. You can use only oil but some of you know how much love I have for butter. I mean my voice even changes at the very sight of butter. Fry them on medium high heat. Everything is cooked here so all you need to do is brown them up. Turn them as soon as they take a brown color. And look at these beauties. They look like these golden rounds of joy studded with colorful beads. You can serve them as an appetizer or serve them alongside the roasted chicken or turkey. Please hit that like button so that this video reaches out to more people. And if you want to watch more recipes like this, then please click on the video showing up on the screen. Bye bye.